Hi guys, my name is Ferdi and in this video series I will talk about all the elements of Ultimate Add-ons. What is Ultimate Add-ons? There is an amazing page builder called Elementor that contains a lot of free elements. With Ultimate Add-ons you can add even more elements to Elementor that are more advanced and will add more functionality and flexibility. So with Ultimate Add-ons you can take your website project to the next level. Here are some examples of Ultimate Add-ons elements. You can get the ultimate add-ons through 30corp.com forward slash UAE. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy the add-on through this link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. Then you can click on buy now, scroll down, and then you can choose a package. You can pay with credit card or with PayPal. Then you can download ultimate add-ons, upload it to your website, activate it, and then you can use it within Elementor. Do you like what you see so far? Please like this video and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Now let's get started. In this video I will take a look at the info box element of Ultimate Add-ons. I click on Ultimate Add-ons on my website and I click on Edit with Elementor. I scroll down all the way and I collapse this over here and here and here and then here. I search for the info box. I drag it over here and now it's over the complete width of the website. So I want to duplicate this one more time. I can remove this and I leave this to see what you can do with it. So I click on it and we have a title prefix. So maybe I want to show my theme to you. So I am uh, the CEO for instance and the title is 30 or first hook. And I can say something. What I want to say, something like that. Right now we have an icon above the title, so I can also say below the title or left or right or like this. So there are quite a few options. I want to have it above the heading like this. Then I can align everything to the left, to the right or keep it in the center. The image icon style, right now it's normal. We also can have a circle background. We can adjust the colors. Square with a rectangle background. Or design our own. When you do that you get a lot of options over here. I like to keep it normal. And what I want to do, I want to change the icon to an image. So I go to image. I want to choose one from the library and I grab this one like that. Image size, let me see, I can say thumbnail or medium or large, I like large. I can change the width, I can make it smaller, I can have a hover animation so when I say shrink and I hover over it, it shrinks a bit. I want it to grow like that. And then we go to the separator. Right now you don't see separator but if I turn this on there's a separator over here. I can change the color to this color. I can make it dashed instead of solid or dotted or two lines like that and I like solid. We can change the thickness and the width in percentage or in pixels. So I just want to say 60 pixels then we have the call to action. We don't see that yet. So right now the type is none. We can change it to text. People can click on read more and then they can go to a certain page or a certain link or a button. And I say read more and then I can say, you know what? My link forward slash 30 corpus hook and there people can find out more about me. The size, small or medium, I think small is okay. We can have an icon here at the bottom, but I don't want that. And we can change the colors. So I go to the background color and I change the color to this one. Or I can have an image in the background. And if I hover over it, I click over here. And then 
background color can be green. So when I hover over it, it becomes green. Okay. And do I want to have an animation when I hover over it? No. So what I will do now, I go to style and I can configure this even further. The prefix tag is H5. I keep it that way. There's the word CEO in this case. I can change it, make it bigger. I think this is okay. We can change the color. I change it to this color. Then we have the title, my name. I like it to be an H2. Make it a bit smaller. Like that. And the color is this blue color. Then we have the description color. First I want to change the typography. The weight I want it to be 300. Maybe 500. Yes. And then at margin. Let me see. I want to go to the button. Call to action. And at the bottom I want to increase it a bit. If that's not possible I can go to advanced. Padding and increase it 20, like that. And here on top also, top 20. Update. So we had this and we made this out of it. One last thing, I go back to content, to image icon. The image icon style is, for instance, square, like that. Uh, I choose my own design. So I can change the background size, make it a bit smaller. And then I can give this the color blue, like that. Or I can make it white and then I have a border, three pixels and the color blue. I can increase it so I make it a circle. And if I do percentage, I can make it 50 and it will make it a circle. So that's how it looks. I like it. It was like this and now it's like this. And when you have more people in your team, you can duplicate it twice. And here I remove this column. So this is how it looks. If I would duplicate this, which I've just done, then I go over here to advanced and I say margin 20, padding 20 and then over here I can create a background style, background type like that and then here I go to advanced, I say background and I make it white like that. And then I can go back to advanced and first over here to the column advanced. If I make this zero, it looks like this. And then here I can say 40 or 25. And then again, I can duplicate it, remove those two. So you can show it like this or like this. And to take it even to the next level, I do one of them. I click over here, advanced, background, and I change it to black, but I make it transparent a bit. Then I click over here, style, change the colors to white, also of the text, description color, white. Now if I would go to the background of the section, style, background, I could use an image. So I clear this one, I grab an image, for instance this one, insert, I go to the overlay, black, and then here at opacity, I can increase it over here, advanced margin 10. Thirty, ten, thirty, ten. So 
so I have more spacing. So you can do something like this with a white background or something with a different background and then make this pop or something like this. So that's what you can do with the info box. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Have a great day. Feel free to like this video, to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.